Americans to the latest stunning photographs of the red planet by Mars rover Perseverance. All the last year, online classes via Google Meet, even during worldwide lockdown, science is everywhere. The day is celebrated to spread the message about the importance of science used in the daily life of people. To display all activities, efforts, and achievements in the field of science for human welfare. During pandemic 2020, when the deadly and previously unknown virus wreaked havoc across the globe, it was science that shaped the year into the search to vaccines and treatments from campus shutdowns to virtual meetings. The corona pandemic set the course of science to an extraordinary degree. The speed of coronavirus is a phase of scientific insights. Almost severe in, uh, acute respiratory syndrome that is SARS, coronavirus 2, was discovered. Research groups worldwide started probing its biology. While others developed diagnostic tests or investigating public health measures to control it. Scientists also raised to find treatments and create vaccines that bring the pandemic under control. Even more than that, the scientific community, when faced with such a problem, rise and sparked a wave of innovation in almost all fields, that is, from face masks to hand free door openers, ROPC to app to indigenous RT-PCR based molecular diagnostic tests, the low cost ventilators to PPE kit. Sanitize the tunnel to the use of drones for home delivery, online learning apps to video conferencing apps, face shields to the wristband that passes when you are about to touch your face, and much not. From immunity boosters to co vaccine. So, children, National Science Day is a day to acknowledge and appreciate the contributions made by scientists and the role of science. So, today, Let's pledge that we will do our bit to make science and technology better every coming day and we'll use the technology to make life of people better. Thank you. Happy National Science Day. Now, I may call upon Ritika of Class 12 Day to give a brief sketch of Dr. C. V. Raman. Ritika. Respected principal sir, teachers and all my dear friends, I am Ritika Gupta of class 12 extremely honoured to have such a great opportunity to speak before you about an Indian physicist, Dr. Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman. The great Indian physicist, Dr. Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman, popularly known as C.V. Raman, was born on 7th November 1888 in a South Indian Brahmin family in Tiruchirappalli, Tamil Nadu. His father was a lecturer in mathematics and physics in a college in Vishakhapatnam. C.V. Raman was a brilliant student since his early childhood. As a brilliant and promising lad, he passes his matriculation examination at the young age of 12 from Madras University. In 1902, he joined 
and all present here. Have you ever the fever as to why the condition is only blue and nothing else? Well, this was unprecedentedly answered by C. V. Raman back in 1928. He explained his Nobel Prize winning discovery as follows. Every particle, every matter in the universe is made up of tiny minute particles, more specifically atoms and molecules. Light consists of photons. Now when we illuminate a surface with light of considerably higher energy, then the collision between the photons and the molecules of the matter results into three phenomena. First one, 99% of the collisions around us are plastic. This means that the energy of the incident light remains the same even after emergence. This will result into green light incident on the surface to be scattered as green light only. This is called Rayleigh scattering. Second one, 0.7% of the collisions are inelastic. This implies that the molecules of the matter will absorb some of the energy from the photons so that the overall energy of the photons decreases. This leads to the emergence of light with slightly lesser energy, that is, lesser frequency. For example, green incident light will be scattered as a red one. This is called Stokes Raman scattering. Third one, 0.3% of the collisions will be super elastic. This is best experienced when the molecules of the matter are already in their excited state. When the photon molecule collision takes place, then the molecule transfers some of its energy to the photon and falls to its ground level. The scattered photon now emerges with greater energy, that is, higher frequency. For example, green incident light will be scattered as a blue one. This is called anti-Stokes Raman effect. So now I think you might have got your answer as to why the color of the ocean is only blue and nothing else. Well, this is just because the water absorbs the blue part of the spectrum, no, not the blue part, red part of the spectrum and scatters the blue part of the light spectrum. So that's why we perceive the ocean to be blue only. Thank you and have a nice day. आदरणीय प्रधानाचार्य महोदय शिक्षकगण एवं मेरे प्रिय सहपाठियों आज मैं अफ्ताब अंसारी कक्षा बारहवीं बौद्ध का छात्र आप सभी के समक्ष साइंस के इस पावन अवसर पर एक कविता लेकर प्रस्तुत हूँ जिसका शीर्षक है साइंस की अद्भुत दुनिया ये साइंस नहीं आसा बस इतना समझ लीजिए ये साइंस नहीं आसा बस इतना समझ लीजिए एक आग का दरिया है और डूब के जाना है जब मैंने पूछा साइंस से तुम इतना क्यों सताती हो किताबें इतनी लंबी चौड़ी बच्चों को क्यों डराती हो कुछ समझ में ना आए फिर भी पढ़ना पड़ता है ये सिग्मा ये पाई न जाने कितनों से लड़ना पड़ता है जब मैं बन जाऊ साइंस टीचर तुमको ऐसा पढ़ाऊंगा तुम ना भूलोगे कुछ भी तुमको ऐसा समझाऊंगा समझो समझने की बात है साइंस कुछ नहीं बस अंकों की बरसात है लिया अगर तुमने समझ तुम अंक बड़े लाओगे वरना आखिर में तुम यूं ही बस लाओगे ये केमिस्ट्री है कुछ नहीं बस हाइड्रोजन को पकड़ के लाना है देखो क्या होता है बस ऑक्सीजन में मिलाना है इस जग का तो बस इतना ही फसाना है थोड़ी सी रिएक्शन से पानी का बन जाना है अपना भूलोगे तुम कुछ भी बस इतनी सी जबानी है हाइड्रोजन से इंडियम तक बस इतनी इसकी कहानी है जब याद आए फिजिक्स तुम मेरे पास आना न्यूटन चाचू चले गए अब उनको ना सताना इतनी लंबी चौड़ी क्वेश्चन तुम याद कैसे कर पाओगे अगर लिया तुमने समझ 
तुम खुद ही लिख पाओगे तुम ना डरना इससे ये तुमको बहुत डराएगी तुम ना डरना इससे ये तुमको बहुत डराएगी मैदान ना छोड़ देना ये फिर ना तुमको आएगी अब मेरी क्लास हुई खत्म कल ये तुमको सुनाना है अब मेरी क्लास हुई खत्म कल ये तुमको सुनाना है ये साइंस है मेरे दोस्त यहाँ चलता नहीं कोई बहाना है At last, let us spread the significance of science and technology in our daily life. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Anaghan. Today I am going to try some scientific tricks. So, let's try out the first trick. That is, if we will put water in the middle, all these gaps and openings will close automatically because of accumulation of water. So, let's try it out. So as we can see all these openings have been closed it has been transformed into a star so this has so this trick has been worked successfully so now let's try out the second trick it says it works on a principle of atmospheric pressure so it says that if we will uh, tilt this glass filled with water this piece of cardboard will not fall down so let's try it So as we can see this piece of cardboard is not falling down. The reason behind it is, is atmospheric pressure. So this trick also worked out successfully. Now let's come to the third scientific trick. This trick is based on the principle of surface tension. Now I have poured 3 fourth of water in this glass and if I will put this card this piece of cardboard on the glass it will fall down because of gravity but if i will fill it fill the water till the brim of the glass and then i will place the cardboard in the same position it will balance because the gravitational force is has been equalized with uh, with the surface tension so this trick also works successfully. So now let's try out the fourth scientific trick which is based on the principle of surface tension. Fritz, this is one more trick which is based on uh, the principle of surface tension. In this trick, our aim is to transfer water from this filled glass to this empty glass with the help of uh, this thread. So let's try it out. Uh, friends, please watch carefully. So we have uh, we have transferred water from this uh, from this filled glass to this empty glass. So this was also a surprising trick, and it also worked. So friends, I have tested out all the scientific tricks. Isn't science, isn't science amazing? You, you all also try these scientific tricks at home. Signing off, Anagha. We all know, science is present in every aspect of our life. In every single thing we do. Each year on 28th of February, we celebrate National Science Day to mark the discovery of Raman effect by Sir C.V. Raman one of the great Indian physicists from India on 28th of February 1928. For his discovery, Sir C. V. Raman was also awarded by the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. Nowadays, we are all surrounded by science and technology. Any kind of progress in science makes our life easier and better. We must say that science is a boon to humankind. And every single invention and innovation is wholeheartedly welcomed all around. Science is simple and fascinating.
future of SDI, that is science, technology, and innovation, impact on education, skills, and goals. As a student, it is your responsibility to honor scientists and inventions by contributing greatly to the field of science through innovation. Following this, the students of Red Science are paired with a self made hands free and sanitizer dispenser without touching the bottle with the help of a foot pedal operated mechanism. We wish to provide it to the school for the news. May I now request our future ma'am to honor the gesture of our children. Good morning, students. On behalf of Principal Air Force School Chakiri and staff, I congratulate National Science Day to all of you. I also thank to science faculty and activity team to present such mesmerizing program in short of time. So thanks, Jayan Jayan.